Okay, hi everybody. I was actually just about to leave the house. Um, and but then I remember that my girlfriend yesterday, I was on the phone with her, and this girl is still talking about, girl, how do I put on a lash? I'm like, strip? I'm like, oh my God. How are you almost 40 and you don't know how to put on a strip? So I figured I would send her a video, but why not post it on the page? Because a lot of people don't know how to do it. So my makeup is officially on. The last thing I usually do is put on the lash. So the makeup is on. This was a fast thing. I'm just going to the supermarket. The key to putting on an eyelash is having a base. The way I visualize it is um, when you're a kid, right? You know how you, when you're learning how to write, they, they like, Put the lines and you're supposed to trace the lines it's the same thing like an eyelash so so the base which is what you would trace is the eyeliner you take eyeliner whatever kind of eyeliner you like liquid whatever I usually like liquid when my liquid is finished and I said to myself during quarantine I'm not buying anything more use what I have so I have this gel ish creamish black liner with this thin brush and I make the line just like you would with guys I just ordered my camera it's coming in two days my my videos are going to be so much better so you make the line some people usually pull the eye I don't think it's necessary to pull plus I think pulling is also going to cause premature crows and also wrinkles. So I try not to pull at my face too much. So that's one line. Take the next one. The next line. Make sure that doesn't really get in. It's a little closer. There you go. So we have one line on one eye. One eye on the next. Let's put a little Nicki Minaj on there. Let's get a little Nicki Minaj on there. Boop. I think nothing crazy. I like for my line to go out a little bit. I feel like it looks more, it looks sexier when I do that. So I gotta fix that. You fucking bastard. Okay, I'll fix that in the end. This is not what the video is about. Okay, so the two lines are on. Once the two lines are on, you then take the lash. I'm, 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 I'm reusing a lash. My lashes do not get thrown away until they have completely died. So this is maybe my, maybe my, oh, oh, it might be dead. It might be dead. Oh, oh, are you trying to die on me? See, he's, he's dying, but guess what? I don't bring you to life. You're not dead yet. <laughs> the blood. The blood. All right so fine so he's half dead he's in cardiac arrest he's in a coma okay he's half dead so this is the lash okay and you take the glue my glue is almost finished i told you during quarantine i'm using everything i'm not buying anything until everything is completely done you line the lash With glue you don't have to overdo how much you put just put a little bit of glue and you let it get a little don't put it on immediately because what's gonna happen is if you put it on immediately it's gonna start to slip and slide so you have to let it get a little gummy make sure you don't have any make sure none of the glue gets on your fingers and if it does just walk to the shower curtain and wipe it off To help it get dewy, you can blow it a little bit. There's no certain amount of time. You can just like figure it out when it gets a little dry, but not too dry. Because you want it to be able to move on the lash just in case you don't apply it correctly at first touch. But you don't want it to be moving too much. So you have to find the medium. Practice makes perfect. I let it rock for like a minute. Maybe that wasn't a minute, maybe 30 seconds. And then when I'm applying it, 
I like to hold the middle because if I hold the middle, I can gauge where it's gonna lay once I'm putting it onto the lash. So I, I don't even close the eye anymore when I'm doing it. I just take it. And the idea is to put it on top of the line. Put it on top of the line. So I haven't even squeezed it yet. But I like to make sure that the ends, because once the ends are, are correctly placed, you know that the other part of the lash is going to be in the correct place, as long as you have an average length eyelid. So all I did was put that on there. And now I'm catching this side, because remember, it's not down yet. It's not applied yet. It's just sitting there. It's sitting there. It doesn't know what to do. And you take that piece there, and you put it on the line. I just follow the line. Get as close to the tip as possible, but stay on the line. That's your guide. Because guess what? If it's if if it's a little crooked, guess what? You won't see it because the line is there and the line is the base. So the line is giving you the illusion. Well, not the illusion, but the line is giving you a backing so that if it is a little crooked or is a little not on correctly, you can't see it because the eyeliner is there and the eyeliner was put on correctly, so you're good to go. And if if you're reusing lashes, sometimes the eyeshadow from the night before gets on it. If that happens, you just take the same liner and you put the liner on top of the lash to cover up the, the, eye, the eyeshadow because when eyeshadow falls on the top of your eyelid, it looks bootleg and you don't want to look crazy so you just take the thing and put it on there to your that sheer perfection if it's sleeping wake it up and lift it up stop sleeping you're not dead yet the last thing i need to do is put some lotion on my eye here You or not. Bye boys. I mean, bye girls. I mean,